Hi, John from Lancaster Archery with a special product review. Today we have Doug Denton, Senior Recurve Engineer at Hoyt Archery, and he's got brand new for 2019, the new top secret riser that I've been hearing a lot about, but I'm going to see it for the first time today. Doug, tell us what you've brought today. Well, John, I'm really excited to be here um, to be able to, to show you the new riser. Um, it really is my favorite riser that I've ever designed. I took all the knowledge that I've had over the past 10 years with working with top shooters all the way down to club level shooters and really just dumped all of my knowledge that I have into one riser and um, really excited about it. So let's pull it out here and what we have is the all new Formula X. So. Let me walk you through a little bit of the design features that I changed and, and what my goals were with this and carry on from there. So the first thing you see is I really kind of trimmed up the, the color of the body of the riser. And then I, I really expanded the top and bottom limb pockets. Okay. I did that for the balance of the bow to give it a, a more crisp shot reaction to give the mass and kind of like that pendulum effect Got of it. a balance of the bow. So, you know, comparing it to our older bows that kind of had this cone system in here for the pocket, we kind of got rid of that. We increased the bridging across the pocket to give it more stability, more mass at the bottom and top. We also have changed the tiller bow. So in the past, we had the Pro Series tiller bow that had a pivoting head went away from that, but we still have the collet style tiller boat. What that collet style tiller boat does is it actually will expand. So we have a screw that when we tighten it and those threads expand to center up into the uh, tiller boat hole exactly in the center. Reason that's important, you don't want that tiller boat to cock to the left or to the right. That can actually tweak your alignment of your limb. So this is really precise expands throughout uh, 360 degrees into the center, locks that tiller bolt firmly in place. So that, that part of the bolt is the same as before. It's perfectly aligned, but you did say the top no longer pivots like the pro tiller bolts did in the past. That is correct. You know, we, we wanted to dial in a more precise locking fit, and with that is came the new design of what we have with our tiller bolt. Obviously, as a fan of Hoyt, that's one thing I noticed right away, but look at this. Uh, looking at the dovetail slot, clearly this is new from Hoyt. Um, coming from someone who's done a lot of work with Hoyt uh, dovetails in the past and the, the dowel system, this is blowing me away, this new dovetail. Tell me about the dovetail. Yeah, we've, we've had our, our old dowel system or a, a design of that for a number of years. Um, kind of a try and true uh, lockdown system. But what we wanted to do was really improve on that. and. We have the new dovetail block, and it actually has two composing set screws that actually will go into a counterbore, which is inside this dovetail block, to really lock it down. You lock this bad boy down, it's not moving. It is rock solid. We also have a center set screw here to give it another additional feature, very similar to what we had with our dovetails in the past, with our dowels, where we had the dovetail uh, set screw there as well. Now Hoyt uses shims. I think I can still see some shims here. We do. We have the patent, uh, patented uh, shim system that we can actually rock our limb. What that really does for us is it really it straightens the limb tip. If you have a limb tip that's just minutely out, you can rock the limb mm -hmm. utilizing these shims to get that limb perfectly straight, not only at brace height, but also at full draw. So the full draw cycle, the shot cycle, that limb will track perfectly straight with this patented system that we have here. Very good. Looks like the rest area is similar. Um, tell me about that. Is it the same as before or ha have there been any changes made? You know what, the, all of this system is exactly the same as what we had on our previous bows. Uh, however, we do have some new Vertitune plates that uh, we can show that are gonna go into there. Here's the new plate, Doug. Yeah, so what we have is a new design Vertitune plate. We still have the what we call the high, medium, and low plates. So that's not changed. What has changed is the design of the plate. We have these laser engraved markings. Now, how I came up with the laser engraved markings 
is actually off of putting your clicker into the top hole and as that graduates in, mm -hmm. that angle changes. Therefore, the angle on our plate here changes for our lines, so it can, you can always line up with your clicker. It'll match the blade angle. Ma matches the blade angle, right. exactly. So when you marry these two up, I think it gives it a really nice integrated you know, look with the design of the riser along with the design of the Vertitune plates. That looks great. I see the grip looks similar to what we had last year, and you're once again including two grips, is that correct? That is correct. So we will install the grip, a black grip, onto the riser, but we have a white grip, same make, same design, that comes with the package of the bow. So whether you like a black grip, whether you would like the white one, well, it depends what you like, but you can put either one on your bow, and they both come with it. So and We sell a lot of risers here. Hoyt is certainly the only company that has ever sent two grips with the bow and I know a lot of recurve shooters love to um, kind of uh, customize their grip so having two gives you the opportunity to work with them. Absolutely and then having two different colors too. We're not just throwing two black grips into it or two white but it kind of gives you a way to really customize the bow for yourself. Another question I had is we have in the past HP risers or Earl Hoyt geometry. Uh, tell me what's happening with the riser this year. What geometry am I looking at and, and what's changing? Great question, because right now what we have is Earl Hoyt Geometry. It's a 25-inch riser. The Formula X will only be offered in a 25-inch riser Earl Hoyt Geometry. We're no longer going to have the uh, what we've referred to as the HP Geometry. So kind of tried and true Earl Hoyt Geometry, 25-inch riser, really the staple of, um, of the recurve market out there. The finish is the same uh, matte finish I've seen. I know you guys take a lot of pride in that. I know a lot of work goes into that. Cleaning up the aluminum to prepare for a finish like that is really difficult to do. Has anything changed there? You know, the, the attention to detail that we have at Hoyt, we're constantly striving to have better quality go out the door. You know, we want to make sure that when a consumer opens up that box for the first time, pulls that riser out, that it is the utmost perfection and quality. So has things changed? Probably not to the consumer level. Internally, we're constantly striving to have the best quality we can have out there. Doug, the riser looks fantastic. I'm really excited to see it in the hands of the top competitors this year in 2019. Also excited to get this to our customers at Lancaster Archery. So if you guys have any more questions about this riser, call and talk with one of our tech experts or see us at LancasterArchery.com.